It's not actually the longest one, but it's the second longest, but we needed a good title, but it's still really long. It's called the Caledonian Sleeper, this train, and it's 12 hours, London to Inverness. Just got into London. London's awful. It's all right, it's just full of Londoners. I think there's a lounge that you get access to, but we can't see it anyway, so we're just having to ask for some help. We bought like the top class ticket. Uh, it was 375 pounds, double room. So we got bedroom. It's the whole point is to sleep in. Then I went on YouTube and saw there's quite a lot of people that have done this video, but no one that I could see that's done the bunk bedroom, which is what we've got. So this might be a unique take. I don't know if you can tell what we're happening in there, but that's my first time in a first class lounge and there was loads of free stuff. I've got a bag with some bits and bobs in. I ate loads, I drank loads, and now I'm ready to go on my train and sleep loads. So you have to like check in like a hotel. You gotta walk down the train, different check-in points for different places you're going. Quite, quite a novel experience this. All right, here we go. About to enter the room for the first time. Please come with me as we see what our room for the next 12 hours is. No, it's small. I knew it'd be small, obviously. I didn't think it'd be this small. I mean, what were you expecting? Like twice this size. You get a nice big mirror here. Oi! Caution! Oh, Caution! Magnet! Literally sleeping a meter away from a pissing man. This is so sick. It's a bit warm. It's because I'm excited. I'm a blood's pumping. Do you want to know something you're not going to like? Yep. I'm desperate for a shit. Well, you can go in the main. Isn't it all right? <laughs> no, not in there. It is going to come out on this journey. <laughs> well, I'd expect it to. It's a long journey. <laughs> Don't touch my ass. Right. We're pretty much acquainted with the room, so we're going to go to the, what's it called? The club car. Club car to have some food. <laughs> we're acquainted with all two meters of the room. There's not even two meters. We haven't set off yet either, just for the record. Still in Houston. We are, but we're in the club car where we can get some drinks, we can get some food. Even the salad looks good and I was like, oh, it comes with salad. I'm absolutely buzzing with this. Right then, so we went to the, what's it called? The coach. Club carriage. The club carriage, and we had some food. I thought it was pretty average, but I'm quite fussy. I had a haggis and it was banging, because I'm not fussy. We didn't film too much, because there's a lovely man called Tim who sat with us, and we were having a chat with him about just about everything, really. Yeah, it was, it's all it was, sorts. It was very, very nice. So we've come back to the room. We're just going to show you around the room, and then maybe go get some drinks. So welcome, formally, into the first class Caledonian sleeper double bed room double bedroom here's where you sleep it's two pretty small beds i'm on the top bunk dan's on the bottom those of you that know me know that i lived like this for about fucking 10 years in my mum's so i'm used to this until you're 27 don't worry about that all right don't worry about it bridie still lives at home we got some charging up here but that's not going to be enough to power what we want to do in the, in this room so you'll see that in a sec with the help of the eco flow of course do you want to show them some stuff yeah i'll show them bathroom Are you coming out? <laughs> I thought you were coming out. So this is your bathroom. Lovely shower here, as you can tell. Hello, is this on? Come with some shampoo, some shower gel. Lift this up. You got your shitter full of Rob's piss. <laughs> That's the bathroom. You get given two coat hangers. Don't slam that door. Thank you. So you get given two coat hangers, which I've used. There's a big floor length mirror behind Rob. So if he turns around. You get free chocolate in your room. Tastes like I've been kind of chocolate. I like that though. Well, you've got a bar as well. Do we have? Do we get drink provided? Yes. Any one of these. <laughs> so it's December 2nd. That means it's Christmas time coming up soon. This year I'd like us to have a Christmas tree in the flat down. We didn't have one last year. We've never had one really. We um, did once and it was shit because we didn't take it down for like three months afterwards. So that'll be why. So anyway, I thought we could practice in here, so I brought us a little Christmas tree. <laughs> what the fuck? What? If you find somewhere for it to go. <laughs> Where the fuck's this gonna go? Where's the stand? It doesn't have a stand. There's it stand. should do. Stands come, come separately. I've been doing this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Put it in the sink. Well, obviously angle it into the corner, you idiot. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Hang on a minute. As you've probably seen from the description, EcoFlow have sponsored this video. And once again, we're gonna use their River 2 to have a lot of fun in this bedroom. Get your mind out of the gutter. We're gonna use this to power some lights for the tree. And we'll tell you a bit more about this in a little bit. You can untangle Oh these. my God, there's so many. No, if, if you do it like that, then it's only gonna go bad. Well, why'd you give me the jobs that you should? Because you're do. down there. EcoFlow, River 2. Lumos. Hey, <laughs> Lumos, innit? No, it's missing just one thing is that tree. And that's the Christmas ornament. Oh no. <laughs> so do you want to decorate the tree? Yeah, go on. Do you know what? We've even got another, we've even got two Christmas ornaments. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. Wow. Wow. And do you know what? The EcoFlow River 2 is telling me right there that it's going to run that tree for 15 hours. So that'll run it until we literally get to Inverness. Oh, sick. It won't because we're going to turn them off because we've got more fun shit to do. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Would you mind changing somewhere else so your cock and balls in my face? People would pay good money for this cock and balls. <laughs> no, the fuck So you we're going to go out. And when we say go out, what we mean is we're going to go back to the... Club car. Club car. How do you, how do you fail with that every yeah, time? I think it's like Tesco club car. I think it's autism. So we're going to go back there and just have some drinks in there. Oh, by the way, the food was £69. Pounds. Dear God. Before going out, I'm going to freshen up. I'm going to have a shower. So I'm going to press the water button, also known as a tap. <laughs> This might be the right. most fun I've ever had on a train journey. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, the and balls. Oh, look, the <laughs> towel. Oh, she's a silver lining. Normally, I'd say beggars can't be choosers, but we're not beggars. We've paid 400 quid for this fucker. And that shower, it's warm. There's people out there. It's warm, but you have to keep the thing held down. Oh, really? Why are you using it? Otherwise... Like a festival show. Yeah, but do you know what? It's on a train. It's a novelty. Are you going to have one? Yeah. Right, I'm refreshed and re-energised. As you can tell, I look great. Lock up your daughters. As long as they're over 22. And <laughs> lock them up anyway, because we're off to the club card to, <laughs> to go and get drunk. Hello, Hamora. So we're here at the bar, which is just kind of a, a, an area on the train. It's pretty much the same place where we ate. Uh, we're going to see if they'll let us just get hammered at a very high expense. I'm sure they will. Here's a nice view out of the window. Gorgeous out there. Absolutely. Oh, is that it's Alex? Got, it's got suddenly worse. Now it's suddenly better. What's real it's like in the cafe? Pardon? Sorry, can you say that as a, as a um, sentence what? I can Come understand? Again. Come again. You'd like that, wouldn't you? It's one of those fake ones where you just twist it up. Because you can't pop it in here. Why? It might create driver's eye. We fancy glass. We're now sat in the two by two, one by one, the two seater thing. We sat in a booth for lunch. We sat at the bar like you just seen. And now we're at the probably the best table, I think. It's it's got this thing for some reason. I think this is the best seat to be at. One of the two by twos. Yeah. One by one. It's a two seater. Got to the bottom on the glass of Prosecco. It's tasting much nicer now. That's good, isn't it? How does it do that? It's because you're getting drunk on it. It's like that girl that you see at the bar and you reckon she's about an eight or a nine. But then maybe in five and a half beers time, she's still not DM'd you back on Instagram. <laughs> Right, well that were a fucking waste of time. Time look, door, don't block. Look how skinny this is. Is this us? Is this our room? L1. Is it? Yeah. Can we have the house lights on please in the cabin? Over there. <laughs> Something that needs to be... What, an house light? <laughs> what is it, this? The side light. There we go. There we so, Something that we need to recognise is this is obviously an expensive train. Too expensive in my opinion. The service that we've received, even before getting on the train, has been absolutely st stunning, sublime, textbook. It's been fantastic from every member of staff that's worked on here that's, that's looked after us. It's been wonderful. Even Tim would have nice and even work. Tim would even work here. He's next door, he can probably hear us. He's going to hear us tonight. Not probably like that. that. Not like that. We've had a few bevs and, you know, we want some excitement now, but it's fucking boring on this train. So with the beautiful power of the EcoFlow River 2, which by the way is absolutely amazing, we've, uh, we've come up with an idea. What we're gonna do is play a bit of GTA 5 on the move. Have a look at this. GTA 5 on the Caledonian Express. Lovely little Amazon projector, cost about 40 quid. We've plugged that into PS4, a power hungry setup. It's gonna give us about four hours. That's power in a PS4. Amazing in my eyes. Fuck this car up, get rid of this bag of shite, what guns have you got? Nope. We'll get back to the fun in a sec, but I just want to jump in and just formally thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. We couldn't have done it without them. If you want to get yourselves a River 2, then click the links in the description. You can use the code on screen now for an exclusive Christmas discount, and their Christmas sale is extended until the end of the year on the 31st of December, if you didn't know when the end of the year was. The River 2 is the best way to charge all your portable devices. You can charge it from 0 to 100% in an hour. It has 3,000 battery life cycles. It's got AC out, USB type A, USB C, another USB type A, and it's even got the car adapter as well. The best portable power station under one kilowatt hour. Thanks again, EcoFlow. Let's get back to the fun. You can get room service in the Caledonian sleepers, which is fantastic. You just press this little button. We've never done it. We don't know if we actually speak to them or if they're going to turn up to the room. So let's give it a go. Good 
Hi, Hannah. Um, we're just looking to get a couple of drinks, please. That's cool, isn't it? Cheers. Thank you very See much. See you later. Thank you. 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 Th
well, <laughs> Inverness. Train spotter, train spotter, train spotter. It's Francis Bourgeois. Francis, Francis, when do you have the nose job? It's too early to be shouting. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. So here we are in Inverness. I'm not on edge, that'd be an exaggeration, but like the, the more northern into Scotland we get, I feel like the more hated we are. So, was the Caledonian sleeper any good? And more importantly, who is it for? Dan's gonna go first. And so I'm gonna start off by answering the second question first. Who is it for? Um, not me. <laughs> it's quite uncomfortable. It rattles, it makes a lot of noise. You can't actually turn all the lights off so you can't get a proper dark room and I love a dark room. Nice food, nice staff. It's, you know, the, the, the living side of it is very comfortable, but the sleeping side of it is not. Like, fuck that. I don't wanna ever sleep on that train again. I forgot that Obviously one of the benefits is you can go to sleep in theory and wake up um, 500 miles up the road. When you're not, it's not necessarily even meant to be an experience, it's meant to be something that just disappears into your day, into the night. So with that in mind, I think it's pretty good, very expensive for the one that we got. I'm glad we did it, I'm glad we've had this great experience. Um, maybe we'll do the other one if this video goes down well we'll do because there's another overnight train slightly longer one so maybe we'll do that one if we went for the double bedroom and had one each i think we'd have been fine or maybe the disabled room with more space disabled room with three. i'm we surprised they put you in there to be i know let's bring raz next time yeah absolutely right another train now yep <laughs> Bad news, it's our old friends EasyJet and their hotel branch. Yeah, it's still... Set up. You're going to be sleeping next to my feet, or it, I'm going to be sleeping next to yours. It looks like a prison cell. So Buck's Bar does possibly the spiciest chicken I've ever had in my life. Just look how nice that looks, man. <laughs> Why are you filming me? Because you're eating a kebab and it makes for a funny shot. What's funny about this? Don't look at the camera. There's, there's no funny about this. Listen, trust me, like seeing your naked carcass like this is funny. What a fucking great night in Kai that one. He's fucked. We've only just set off and already he's asleep. <laughs> Thank you to our incredible supporters on Patreon. We cannot run this channel without you. That is it from us until next year. So thank you for everything. What a riot it has been. We hope you've enjoyed this content and everything else this year. We love you and we'll see you soon.